What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today I have a brand new product. This is actually a lens that I've been testing out for about a month now. This is a brand new lens from Sigma. So this is their Sigma 16mm f1.4 contemporary lens. And so this is basically a wide angle prime lens for micro four thirds camera. And they also sell one for the Sony mount as well. So I've been using this for about a month now and I love this lens. It retails currently right now for 450 bucks, so not too crazy expensive. But uh, I've had a really great experience while using it. So I'm gonna give you guys some close-up shots of it and show you the, the build quality and everything, talk about how my experience has been while using it. And then I'm gonna give you guys some sample photos and footage that has been taken while using this on uh, my GH5. So without further ado, let's check out the review. All right, so here we have the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. I really like this lens, guys. It's a great wide-angle prime lens. 1.4, you cannot go wrong with 1.4. That's probably the number one reason why I would recommend checking this one out. Um, so keep in mind that this does retail for 450 bucks, which I think still think is a very reasonable price. And it's available for Micro Four Thirds, which is what the one I've been using, and also for Sony. And it's basically like a 32 millimeter uh, equivalent focal length. So it, this one goes from 1.4 all the way to 16 is the aperture range. Um, it has a smooth, smooth, large focus ring. I love the, the amount of grab you can get on here. Very, very smooth, very responsive as well. I'll show you on my G7 camera over here how quickly, barely any kind of movements is what it takes for this thing to lock into focus and jump from one end to the other. Um, but this works great with autofocus for video especially. It's great for photography, um, but it is like dead silent. Like you will not listen, you will not hear any noise. And I know that's an issue that some of the other Sigma lenses have been having. Uh, the 18 to 35 uh, Sigma I'm using right now, if I have like a boom mic attached to my camera and I'm trying to record audio, you can hear it trying to focus in and moving around in the gears and such. This one is dead silent. It's very, very quiet. So I, I, I was really impressed by that. But this thing can suck in so much light with that 1.4. Give you amazing, awesome, beautiful bokeh, blown out backgrounds. I was very, very pleasantly surprised with it, especially for retail, the price. You know, you think for 1.4, this would be closer to $1,000 maybe, maybe like 800 bucks or so. But 450 bucks, I think, is a pretty good price range for this lens. So let me show you what I was talking about uh, uh, as far as the uh, pulling in the focus. Let me see if I can, actually, let me put the cap back on it so that way it's easier to see what I'm talking about with the black screen. Okay, there we go. So as you can see there on the black screen, so you see the, the focus line right there on the bottom. So as I move it, it jumps back and forth, but it barely takes, let me see if you can show, I can show my hand here. So you barely have to move it. If, if it's a quick twist of your wrist, it jumps from one end of the spectrum to the other. Do you see that line right there? Or if you want to take it real slow, you can move it very slowly and you see that line moving to the, the sharper right there. But that's been pretty cool too. So if you need to lock it in and switch sw really quickly to get over to one end of the other, all it takes is a real quick wrist movement. And that's really nice. I didn't know that, I'm not sure if that's a thing on other Sigma lenses. I don't think that's the case with the 18 to 35 I'm using right now, but I was noticing that while using this one. Um, it does that really easily, really nice. And that's kind of a nice little feature that this lens has. So this one's weather sealed. It weighs less than a pound. It's like 14 ounces, not that heavy. It's not that large as you can see. It was on my G7 right there. But it does a really good job of minimizing like lens flares and ghosting as well because it has that super multi-layer coating that the Sigma lenses have. Uh, but it feels very solid, well-built, and uh, it does come with the lens hood, so a little bayonet mount here. And uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying it while using this this lens. Like I said, this I've, this is a loner lens from B&H Photo, so if you guys want to check this out, purchase this off of B&H. I'll put a link down below in the description. But that's enough of me talking. Now let's go ahead and show you what this lens can do. So I'm gonna give you some examples of video taken with this lens. Paid special attention to some of the low light conditions. I'm gonna show you some of the really great shots you can get, especially nighttime shots with the uh, Sigma 60 millimeters. So let's check it out.
So what do you guys think about that sample footage? I tell you what guys, I was really impressed by the quality of this lens and I really recommend checking it out. So if you're interested in purchasing this product, I'll have a link down below to B&H Photo if you want to purchase this from off of their website. I really appreciate them loaning me this lens so I can test it out and review it for you guys. If you have any questions about this lens, post them down below in the comment section. I read every comment in all my videos and I always answer back as quickly as possible. If you want to check out some of my other videos, i got two other clips here you can check out. And if you want to go to my YouTube channel to subscribe to my channel to be alerted to any of my other camera, lens, and other tech products reviews, make sure you click on my face. So that's it for me today, and I'll see you in the next video review.